Welcome to the Solid Cam University channel. In this video, we'll continue our series of videos on the tool axis control options inside of the simultaneous five axis milling toolpath. This video, we'll be talking about rotated around axis. <clears throat> so rotated around axis simply means that we're gonna give it a tilt angle around one of the axes on the part, either one we define or the X, Y, or Z axis. You just choose whichever one best fits your part. In this case, my Z axis is pointing from my top dead center. So this is what I'm going to use. So in the options, you can see you have tilt angle and tilted to. So essentially just two parameters to control here. You're controlling a tilt angle from the surface normal to the axis that you selected. So if we go ahead and take a look at the wireframe for this, you'll see that the toolpath starts basically as you would imagine, 90 degrees to that surface, which is zero degrees from the surface normal from the surface normal to the z-axis, it's essentially just pointing at the z-axis. And because this is a rotated around, that pretty much means that we are now just pointing directly at the z-axis. The tool will come, let's go back into here. The tool will come down and as you can see, it just stays normal to the surface there. As it goes around those sharp corners, you can see that it is actually just staying 90 degrees. Let me just get this to the corner there. And in all the views, you can see it's basically just 90 degrees to that surface. This is what you would imagine with some of the other options we have. It's just staying normal to the surface. <clears throat> and as it goes all the way through, even if we play this through, you can see that as it goes along that vertical face, it stays pretty much planar in the X, Y axis. And then if you look at it when it goes around that radius, it tends to tilt. Again, that is only because the surface normal. And then when it gets to that horizontal face, it's gonna look purely vertical. Again, all just because the surface normal points upwards. If we do the same with a toolpath that now has it set to a tilt angle of 45 from the Z axis, you'll see that the wireframe is still doing the same job. This is a morph between boundary curves from the top curve to the bottom curve across all those faces. But the toolpath is, is a little bit warped around these corners here. If you look at the angle over here, it's about 45 degrees from the surface normal, which would be in this direction, but it's 45 degrees around the Z axis. And if you look at the other images, let's say the one on the top right here, it's still pretty much perpendicular to those faces there. If you kind of look at it from these views here, again, because we're looking at it in a view with Z, we're not really seeing the angle there. The only angle that should be apparent is when it's around the z-axis, as you see there. Now let's take a look at this thing in simulation. We can get an idea as to what all of that actually means. So immediately you'll see that it's at 45 degrees from the z-axis and it stays 45 degrees around the z-axis. Now if I would change it, if I were to change it to the, the x-axis, the y-axis, it would do the same thing. But in this orientation, it would actually kind of get the, the tool to wander a lot because it's trying to stay 45 positive, 45 around the x-axis. And that's what it would be doing if it goes around the part. As we're doing it here, it can stay a nice 45, positive 45 degrees around the z-axis because that's pretty much what it's rotating around, uh, as in its movements are, are moving around the z-axis. But the rotation of the tool is always around the z-axis. You can see it there. Now something interesting happens once it gets down to the bottom. I'm just gonna hit play on this. And then we can see once it gets to the radius, it stays at 45 degrees. I just kind of pause it here. In this view, it's still 45 degrees to the z-axis, but in these other views, you're seeing that it takes a little bit of a tilt. Again, that is just the surface normal. So the surface normal is controlling it as it goes throughout, but from the surface normal to the, to the z-axis, in this particular case, it's still taking that 45 degrees. Now I'm gonna play this through, maybe a little slower. So you can see that gradual tilt as it goes along the, along the fillet. But once it gets to the horizontal face, something a little unique happens. Because we're saying zero degrees, 45 degrees, sorry, from the surface normal to the, uh, to the tilt axis, as it gets to this angle here, the tool is pretty much perpendicular to that face again. That's because now that the tool vector parallel with the z-axis. 
there really isn't any way to keep that 45. It could be 45, we don't know. I mean, it could be from the center of the tool and it's 45 that way. It would just be rotating around that tool vector anyway. So this is kind of another way to control the tool where the reference point is not always the surface normal. It gives you the ability to kind of morph the angle as it goes along. In this case, we're just saying basically we want the tool to stay 45 from the z-axis. So depending on your geometry, this might be a good choice for what the angle you're trying to take. And all you're really doing is saying, just look at the z-axis and stay 45 degrees to it or whatever angle you choose. Any questions of this or anything else from SolidCam, just give us a call at 1-866-975-1115, extension 2. You can send us your parts or your questions via the ticket system at solidcamsupport.com. And stay tuned for the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel and the videos in this 5-axis series. Thanks for watching.